Okay. Kind of started ahead of time, though. Okay, I need to... Oops, hit wrong button. Ah, sound effects. Do do. Hmm. Ah, here it goes. Yes, you gotta like it. How long it takes before I actually say something here. <clears throat> Anyways, this is the Pokemon Go Community Day Classic featuring Swina. And my sound will turn up. Echo. Yes, classics are usually whenever they bring back a certain Pokemon that previously was shown in another one, though. As you notice, though, up on the upper right side of the screen, though, I do already have some shinies, though. Because as soon as I start doing some testing, though, three of them were all in the first group that appears whenever you log in at the time. And to prove, though, that it is from today, though, you can see right here, 429, Classic Day, 429, Classic Day, and 429, Classic Day. So I'm off to a good start, though. And apparently somebody activated it. Also need to get some more Pokeballs because I ran out. Well, I'm running out. Hmm, I'll check on that. I was looking at the Pokemon Go Reddit uh, section now, and someone was talking about uh, raids and such here. And was it? Or unless it was a Facebook group. Either way, though, somebody mentioned about. A the memo swine though, I think it was Shadow was good for raids. I think wait, I have one. Okay, I'll get to some little news and such here shortly. But anyways, welcome to the uh, stream though video. I'll stream at the time this was being recorded. And since this is mobile there, please be please know. Might be a little laggy for some reason. I have no idea why that is. One moment. Uh, looks like I'm having some lagging issues. Buffering, not buffering, but lagging. Video wise. Okay, it seems to be cooperating. What if it's a refresh rate though? I recently went ahead and moved that up though to where it would be about 60 frames, but I'm gonna see if it can clear up. It's stabilizing right now, but hmm. it's a little bit in the red. Yeah, I think they need to fix the animation on the uh, bug net swinging here because apparently it's just floating there. And like usual, I'll do a bit. Anyways, as with most mobile videos being recorded, though, please be known, though, that, you know, the usual randomness might occur, though, sounds from outside, my dog barking, somebody randomly talking outside when you're by. 
and so forth though, so yeah. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Wish I was at a place that had like a studio room there, so reduce the sound though. Anyways, here's the training code there. Trainer's code. It's a spare one. Wink. The other day, though, I had managed to get two shiny Pokemon there, though. One after another one. Unrelated ones, too. Let's see how big. Ah. 0.13 higher. Also managed to get a, uh, one moment. Also managed to get a extra large Grimer and got muck out of it, though, so. Yeah, I think covers the whole screen up. So I managed to get another shiny Lilith Puff. I'll give that to somebody though, because I already have one. And I actually got a shiny Unpheasant. Actually, technically it was you know, the preform though. This time it was a male. Last time I showed it off, though, it was the female. Okay, so I don't know why the... I'm not sure why the video's a little bit lagging behind, though. So now I have two unpheasants that are shiny. Let's do it this way. The female I got earlier, back on March the 9th. And this one, the 27th. And if you didn't see it last time, though, that the female unpheasant, though, originally had a graphical issue where it displayed the male's uh, shiny body though and they fixed the 3d model there but they never did fix the little icon there so if you squint a little hard here now you can see it's green still okay so little news pokemon side there uh, the Pokemon Fest is about to come up, though. It's going to be around $15 for a ticket. Globally, though. I'm not going to spend the money on that, though, because a lot of the time, so uh, certain mythical and legendaries, though, will eventually come back for a cheaper deal, depending on your definition of cheap, though, or free. So, I mean, they only, I mean, you'll eventually get a few things here and there, though. Maybe like a little badge say, hey, I did this and so forth. But, yeah, they're mostly just for show. Oh, somebody dropped off a shiny over there. A Venipede. I'll get to it in a moment here. Anyways, go to the news. I think they, yeah, they finally moved the news away from there and put it where it should be. Because usually they have it in two spots. Now, I know I feed it, fed that bear, though. But for some reason, though, the news notification that you get in-game tends to be a little late. So if something happens, they say, oh, by the way, this happened. Well, yeah. So... Cleavor from Pokemon Arceus, though, it, or Arceus, the little remake spin-off of sorts there, is making its debut on Pokemon Go. For now, as far as I can tell, though, you won't be able to evolve your Scyther, shiny or not. Some people think you could. This may change later in the future, however, though. but for right now, though, this variant, though, evolution, though, that was debuted in that previously mentioned game will only be available via a raid not to be confused with the elite raid where it had Reggie Le 
I think it was a lift. Yeah, it was, yeah, one of the veggies. But not only that, though, you obviously will be able to have a chance of getting a shiny variant as well. Uh, daily read passes there for five additional. Blah, blah. And two hours afterwards, though, this will take place on May the 6th. Local time of 12, between 12 to, well, almost the whole half a day there. Spark is coming with his own little research, so hopefully it won't be as bad as Blanche, who apparently forgot to uh, get the uh, Lapras there. For those that do not know there, that the Blanche uh, research had some issues there, including, oops, forgot about the uh, Pokemon. Later on, though, the, the research required you to get certain things on one. I don't think it was hers. It was one of the other researchers, though. Somehow the research got reset. So if you was able to do it again though without completing it though, like two out of the three though, you get more rewards and then they then the company decide, oh, everybody gets it. So man, you get three times as much rewards from that one. So far All I need is one more egg on this one. Still need to get some more hearts there, so it might be some time before this is done. This is faster though. And yes, as of this recording though, Professor Willow is still cleaning up his research paper and looking for the right one, I guess. And still, no luck on the Tornadus. So if anybody comes across that though and it's on my list, they'll let me know because I'm still looking for one to capture and take photos of. But again, I wonder if that also qualifies if about taking photos of somebody else's. So. Uh, delays. So do I have enough candy to evolve those? And so which one's the better of the shiny ones so far? Two. <laughs> Almost. Shows that I have enough candy. Too bad the uh I'll just do it this way. Too bad the shadow one can't be dealt with. I do have that shiny one though, but yeah. Angry. Where did I get the other one from? Oh, grunts. I'm getting certain shiny Pokemon, good though, but it's even better than whenever you get a shiny shadow one. That's the only shadow shinies I have. I need to go to, oh yeah, I forgot the small one. I didn't realize this was a small one when I first seen it though. I mean, extra, extra small one. I need to go to the uh, stop nearby though and evolve it though. I think I only got these from though. I mean, it says caught. I like how older ones though, they just like, yeah, you caught it. From who? Mm -mm. Cliff, and you were from Sierra. <laughs> also, an unrelated but company related news uh, for those that, that know that Niantic, the company who made this game, is also getting ready to do a Monster Rancher game game similar to this how similar how much similar i have no idea right now there's a few people who got selected to do testing for it though 
I've entered for a chance though, so far nothing. See how that works though. I got a feeling it's gonna be one of those cases where it's like, yeah, you can uh, test it out though, but we don't want you to show anybody else how it's now. now. Cause some games, there, they have an NDA and so forth though, and yeah. Now, even though I have the incense activated, though, apparently, I forgot that it only works if you actually start moving around. I like how it says, like, five people's needed. Right. There's one person that was talk saying, though, oh, the company uh, messed up rating that I can't even do rating. Well, you can still do probably three stars or less rating, though. I mean, I got a... Not exactly the best team in the world, though. They're kind of eh. And they can take on a three rank. Of course, it depends. So, unless you kept your uh, creatures like very low level, though. Uh, the fun part of trying to meet requirements before you're able to level up to the next level, though. In this case, though, I have to level each of the EVs to their own specific evolutions. Evolutions. I wish I leveled up before I actually uh, evolved some of them. Because what was it? It was the... It was one of the ones with the... Uh, event hats and I got almost done leveling well not leveling but evolving each one to the respective variant so and then I leveled up character wise and then I seen oh well by the way you got to evolve these like ah boo so right now the one that I have right now this one little Vinny eh, try to come up with clever names though Going to try to get that to be a Sylveon. Also, once again, sorry if my uh, video is a little laggy for some reason. I had that issue happen before, too. The problem is, uh, if I wanted to stop the video, though, to reset it, though, then... Yeah, it might actually uh, cut it though and consider it as a new uh, stream. But at least you can still hear me. Lord knows why people want to hear that. I just keep seeing the fluctuating though. Losing frames, gaining frames, losing frames, gaining frames. Thirteen seconds. I think the fastest time I've beaten a raid was a one rank, though, and I think it took seven seconds. Ugh. Man, why are you fluctuating so bad? It's like a stoplight over here. Green, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, red. Anyways, right now it is 3.37. I forgot, I can't bring up the clock. I like two options, though. Show the clock, but not a keyboard, or show the keyboard, but not the clock. And since I need a keyboard to actually uh, type in certain things in this game, there goes the clock. But right now, my time is now 3.37. I figured I would start earlier, though, to see how many shinies I could get, though. I didn't realize I was going to get three shinies right off the bat. Hmm. Also, I did manage to make a group on the Campfire app. So far, only one member. But other than that.
Well, I guess while waiting, go. Ah, I saw that. I'm still kind of figuring out what, why they decide to do the whole extra large, extra small. I mean, extra, extra for Pokemon though when that originally was for the pumpkins. But the thing is, I noticed though, even though they probably got the idea from the uh, pumpkin booze for the uh, extra extra large and small variants, while they may got it from there though, I noticed though that one thing they didn't do, not that I could hear, was the different variation in the sound. Making the big one so have a deeper sound, while the small one, ooh, little package, having uh, well, the higher pitch sounds. Get over here. Ah, yes, a shirt that says coming soon. Coming soon, a shirt. Anyways, like I said. Started earlier, at least about 30 minutes earlier. Seeing how long it takes to get a Pokemon to appear since, well, previously mentioned about the incense, though, not attracting them as much as it used to, unless you're on the move. Somebody's car alarm's going off. Okay, hurry up, grab some Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to saw somebody who had a level 50 on here a few days ago. That's loud. I'll put my notifications on. Do not disturb here. Okay, there we go. Anybody out there yet? Four? Nope, still nobody.
Do, 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 do. Wrong one. Wrong one. Ah, I heard. I heard it. Really? Get in the Pokeball. Get her. There we go. Ah, oh, almost can't get that. Congratulations, have a bu have a bug. <sighs> so Looks a large. Maybe hold on to that. Wish there was a better way to see certain uh, patterns though without going through each one of those. Oh wait, I know what I know what I forgot to do. There we go. Still never figure out why whenever you spin it though, it keeps giving me mega B drill energy. Give others a chance. Let's see. It's ground and ice. So I guess I'll do this one. One of my favorite uh, shiny ones, though. Cause you're near. It's just a gold rock snake. Kind of like it better though than the regular uh, version of Steelix there, which to me it looks like more like a well, its namesake Steel Snake though. The gold one just looks much better. Granted, gold would be I think would be obviously weaker than steel, but. Let me just go paint it. Have to be careful though whenever I uh, open so many gifts up because I might run out of room and like, oh, what did you get rid of first? I need to move some of these to the Pokemon home later. Probably the uh, multiple shinies there. <coughs> the only downside is if you ever move stuff from Pokemon Go to the home app, is that the moves from Go will be replaced by some other moves though. So if you're like, oh, I'm going to be nice to somebody, give them this uh, one that has a special uh, attack, well, more than likely that special attack will be replaced by something that's less spectacular. Let's see, I forgot. What is it? The special one for this one? I think it was Ancient Power. Oh, I forgot. I have to look at the other one now. So used to looking at the news down there. Yeah, Ancient Power. <coughs> uh, let me. Ah, why is it every time I look up something here? If I don't go after it, though, as soon as it. Pops up though, they're more likely it'll run off. 
or float away or levitate away or teleport away. Imagine they have to put the uh, movement to indicate it's fleeing though. It ran away. Uh, but it's a snail. How's it gonna run? Very slow, like. It ran away. It's a balloon. It floated away. Let's see, that's not much over there. Hmm. Had a thought. Now, normally. Yeah, normally, if you remove the frustration from it, though, you can replace it with another attack. But I wonder why. I can't remember if I did it or not. Probably did, but I also evolved it. But I can't remember if you replace the frustration on a pre evolution, would it actually switch out when it evolves to the community day one, though? So let's say, for example. I had replaced the frustration with some other attack because every once in a great while, though, they will allow you to remove the frustration by replacing it using the charge attack, TM, whatever. But let's say if I removed it, replaced it with something else, though, and went ahead and evolved Swine Dove to its final form of Mammoth Swine, though, would it actually gain the community day one? Because normally, though, any other time, though, it's, it has a uh, frustration move there, though. Regardless if you evolve it, though, it will always be frustrated. Because <sighs> right now, you can't do it. The time for it is already over with. Right? Are you sure? Can't do it right now. Darn it. I got a sword next to it for some reason. Oh, because of this. Yeah. There's nothing more worse, though, than a frustrated ancient hairy pig. Ah, I'll just go ahead and do it anyways. Not get a, a pig upset, but you know. And this should also contribute to the requirements for personal leveling up because it also says I need to level up some Pokemon though that also requires special evolution items. Such as this. Giant pig, it's giant. Hmm. Anybody here? Anybody here? Hmm. <sighs> Next Saturday is the Towns of Food event over here. Not to be confused with the Pokemon event, but it's going to be uptown though, going to record their annual burger event. Also, try to claim some towers and gyms up there. It's going to be held right over in this area right up here. Right where this green spot is, right here. I don't know if you can see the marker or not, though, since there's a little delay in video. Yep, it's supposed to be a foot circumference giant burger with onions and other condiments. No mayonnaise, of course, because some people don't like that. So, yeah. I'm going to it every year. 
so far two years because I was in no state at the time. What dog? Do I give it her? Dogs give me an er. I have to walk her as soon as I'm done with this. Take her to the park. It's gonna be pretty cold though if I can get this one stop to be a gym too, but as far as I know, you can't have gyms too close to one another. So they say, but yet I've seen some maps with just that. So who knows? Hmm. Well, I guess we can stop for time by PvP. Why do you always do this to me? This is why they said not to always use the uh, given team that they tend to throw up on there. Though, because sometimes it might not be the best. Especially when doing the raids there. It's like, well, here's what we uh, think would work against certain ones. <clears throat> uh, uh, somebody's got the movie shirt. Ah, uh, that's not going to go well. Was it for the last previous two weeks though it was about elemental and the, oh, might work. I didn't realize it was below me in the uh, combat power. Oh no, they tried to flood me. Wow. Stop, stop, stop. Really? You power yourself up to do that? Bring it on. I like it. it's like, well, I'm gonna take you on any more. What was it? A month or two ago, there was one where. Really? Why didn't you switch out with that one? Oh, I see now. He's weaker. Did you just. Uh... Anyways, a lot of people were uh, using teams of like very low, low level uh, for combat power uh, Pokemon there. That was nice and all, though. Because hey. you had to win a certain amount. It wasn't the one that they give you now and then for the whole month, or season, I should say. Oops. Another cool one that I like that's a shiny one, though, is the Metagross there. The whole white with the gold trimmings, like for the cross on its face, or X. This can be good for the uh, dragon to be chomping down on solid metal. I broke some things there, unless I can cut through steel. Boom. Okay, let's see if it's out yet. Nobody? I'm going to turn the volume on this a bit. Ah, 
Right at my feet. Literally at my feet. It's now four o'clock. I figure I must do some PvPing though. I've been going up to at least level twelve though. Since I keep forgetting, you can also try to get the uh, Pikachu Libre. Why'd you stop giving me dragons? Oh, but they're the top ones. Speaking about shiny ones that are disappointing now, Gengar, slight shade difference, unless it's Mega. I find it funny during the Elemental though, would have the this Golem over there says so I'd use Electric though. People say, wait, what? I rarely see uh, people who was using it at the time, at least the ones I went against, they'll use it. One was using the uh, Kanto one, though, the basic one. What are my water ones? I thought I had a high level water one, except for this one, which is a bad idea since it shares weakness with my Rhyperior. Yes, I know, some people don't like Rhyperior, though, for reasons. Oh look, somebody's best friend. <coughs> uh, weak connection though. Yeah, usually they have a weak connection though. It's usually not me that has it though. You're gonna stop me? Yeah. Imagine if they had the uh, barrier breaking moves there though that they have in the main game. They're like, ah, I can't defend myself because you broke my barrier. Come on, can I get enough of Hydro Pump? Well, I'm gonna survive this though. It makes me wonder how many people named their Hayama E Honda. I'll just go ahead and at least waste it though. I'm not even gonna power it up though, because more than likely though, they're just gonna throw on the, the shield there. Stop jumping back though, it's not affecting you. It's not going to go well because, like I said, though, it's a fighting type, and both of these are weak against fighting. Probably slap me in next Tuesday. Next! Yep. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I better just know. So it's going to block. And then I'm going to switch it over. Really? You didn't block that? Wow. Ah, oh, it tickles. Every time I hear an aggron, I keep thinking like a train horn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. Oh, that was a close one. I remember seeing some people say, why is Gyarados also flying type? Uh, because it jumps out of water? Yeah, there we go. I knew that's going to happen. No. Wait, it was using water attack, right? So I shouldn't take lots of damage? No, it's using the dragon attack. Which I definitely won't take much damage. So glad the final hit does not count if you're in the middle of powering up. Blah, 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 blah. 
In ways, I kind of wonder where the water comes from, though, and at the same time, I don't want to know where the water comes from. Let's see if anybody's there. Yep, two of them. Toss. Man, according to this readout over here, though, at least five minutes worth of the video lagging out. Yikes. In a span of almost a little over 46 minutes. Yikes. So that basically means it was at least 40 minutes of uh, not having too much frames drop. I'm to close this window here then. See if that approves any. Switching between all shades of green and red over here. Cornets, I've already lost 121,000 frames. Yikes. Oh, that's the opposite of that one. Wait, I thought it was another one by my feet. Hmm. <clears throat> to battle we go. Okay, what can I do on this one here? Fire, fire. Oh, stop giving me fires. Oh, wait. Yes, no, maybe, possibly. See, the animation probably won't be able to see as well, though, due to video issues right now, though. But the animation for the swinging the uh, net is actually works whenever it's in the versus screen. <coughs> oh, that's not going to end well. Dark fighting, was it? Pitui, pitui, pitui. Just a fancy lantern just spitting fire at you. Do I do it? Do I not do it? Uh, might be a dark. Oh, it wasn't a dark. <clears throat> okay, so now that I know it doesn't barely do any damage, so using that attack. I even, no, it's gonna block it. Heat wave! I'll take the hit. Ah! Hex me with the best shot. Wow, sliver? How did that work? Well, it says it's a fighting attack. Yeah, interesting shiny there, a scyther though. If you're not paying attention though, you're mistaking it for a regular one. When its joints are actually the shiny parts. So glad on Pokemon Go though, they'll say, hey, by the way, I'm uh, sure you want to get rid of that? It's shiny. Oops, I didn't remember hitting that. I said, wait, it's a shiny? So I canceled it and looked at it and said, oh, it is a shiny. <coughs> So how much damage can you do? Funny seeing a small Pokemon there. Beat up a giant one though. I always thought Zorok was a weird looking creature though. It's like, oh it's a fox, but it's here with its tail. Yeah. Ah wow. I was stronger, but yet slap. I want to recount on that. You swing, dude. Oh, 
Watch, I'll be like, th this is the only three shinies I will get. No shiny, other shinies. Oh, right on my feet again. I want a tiny one. I know some more companies, uh, including Niantic, that's now showing quote, roadmaps of what they're going to be doing in the f upcoming future. Future, not future. Well, probably that too. Because now that... Because here's theirs. Um, hmm, let me do so. I'm going to blank out the screen here. Just in case something else comes up. Okay, here it goes. Okay, I think I should have already, but just in case, though. Uh, upcoming updates, so so far right now is Tapu Bulu. Also, anybody who keeps inviting me, though, I don't need any more Tapu Bulu, though. Even though there's a good chance of it being shiny. I want my Genosec, though. I have two of them. I don't remember which drive forms they have. Maybe Tapu Fini. Definitely Reggie Gigas, though. And then for the Mega Raids, though, definitely need that. Definitely need that, 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 and that. I kind of wish I still had the one for uh, Hound Doom there. I'm like halfway there. And then they just stop having it. Ah! Okay, so for events there, we got Extinctive Hero for May 2nd to 8th. And then Raid Day. A Valorious Hero, or Valors, a Leech Raids, Community Day, and Question Mark Day, where anything can happen. And then your research breakthrough will be Parasect, Pincher, Snorlax, Gibble, Furfru, which I already have a shiny of, though, when it wasn't an event, and Gumi. Again, so we're gonna have raid hours there, May third, ten, seventeen, twenty-four, thirty-one. The Genesect Shock Drive, Tapu Fini, and Rage Gigas, or Gigas, depending on how you are. Spotlight IR is gonna feature a Lowland Geo dudes, Koryupi though, Ponyta, Hand Hour, and Bell Sprout. A lot of them are looking to be shiny equivalent. See, I think I have a Reggie here. Let me see how many Reggies, Reg eyes I got. Well, I got the first three apparently. The funny thing is, though, one of the Reggie Steel Shadow ones, though, was actually the result of me having a, the uh, Giovanni research, though, but instead of giving me the Pokemon it was supposed to be for when I originally got it, though, it went to the next one in line, which was the Shadow Reggie Steel. And then I got the one that was supposed to be for the Reggie Steel, and I completed that one, so that's why I have two Shadow variants of those. So, it seems like, though, I'm pretty sure somebody already figured this out, though, whenever you get a Giovanni uh, research, though, there is no certain Pokemon exactly tied to it, though, regardless if you get it during the day it came out, somehow. So, for example, though, with the uh, Reggie over there, Reggie, the Steel one, though, would have been the, uh, I think it would have been the Ice one, and the previous Ice one would have been the, uh, the rock one though. Let's see, February 5th and February 15th. I don't think either one is that great in stats. Yeah. One of the better ones. Also one of the better ones. My boulder dash over there. I forgot how I got that though, but I got a feeling I know where it's from. Oh, somebody deposit theirs out. Let's see, no, okay. They got a steel team going on here, though. Hmm. 
But like I said earlier, though, I have to well, swipe. I have. I wish I can make it to where I have a, a theme going on there. I previously mentioned in another video though where somebody had a almost a whole team of different evolutions, except for the Umbreon was replaced by a Pikachu wearing an Umbreon hat. I think it qualifies. Uh, I remember a few years ago where one person was complaining about, oh look at this, Pikachu will always get a hat. No one else will do. I said, yeah, I don't think that's going to be true though because there's been some that's got other, no, no, those don't count, because they were talking about the floral ones or the flower ones, though. And I think that was almost three years ago. And since then, other Pokemon had variants. 128 with all these hats. Granted, though, I've shown this so many times before, but granted that Pikachu is going to be the one that has the most hats. Because the mascot will do that to you, though. Now, I don't have all of them, though, especially some of them are, oh, no. Yikes. Okay, so I can fix this here. Can I be heard? Hello? Having issues right now. Oh boy. Having connection issues right now. Okay. It just cut me off though and switched out. So I might have to glue my segments together though. Sorry about that. It's becoming too unstable right now. So I'm going to keep a watch on this though. Yeah, there was a high spike in there. So the video is going to still be a little laggy though. Ah, but I still have like a bot. Yikes. What else I still have? See, my math adds up here. 42 minutes? I think I got 42 minutes though. I should have a program on this computer that will allow me to stitch up videos together. I hate when this happens though, especially if you use just get to Wi-Fi and you're not hardwired. But sometimes it's usually the website that you're broadcasting to that also has issues as well. I was trying to explain though, not sure if I got caught on there or not though, about the Sneeze wearing a hat. Makes it look like one of those hipsters, though. Mm -mm. I like it that whenever the uh, introduce more evolutions though for a certain uh, event Pokemon though where they will not be able to uh, continue on wearing those items I'm not again Okay, so it looks like we're having issues over here, though. So I'm going to wait about a couple more minutes, and I might have to end this, though. Because it's not... It's not stabilizing, though, the uh, recording. Or should I say stream at this time, though, because if this was actually recording, it would probably have been better. Probably. I don't know. Sometimes screen recording tends to be a little iffy subject, too, though. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go. Yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and end it though, because right now it's not 420 local time. Time, that is, not the actual day. Go ahead and do my ending now though, and I'll just finish the rest off. I might put like a counter somewhere on the maybe like the uh the thumbnail or whatever on YouTube. Uh, it's just lagging so bad though. The voice you can hear, the audio is is working well though. It's just that the audio the video So it might be on their end. It's unstable. The last time I had unstable issues though was a few a couple of years ago. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it's about four thirty, because right now it's four twenty one. Yeah. Like I said, some websites though, if you uh, do a live stream and disconnects though, it usually gives you a little grace period of a few seconds, maybe like about 10 seconds to quickly connect so it can pick up where it left off. Other websites, well, the moment they sense that you're off, not broadcasting though, they say, okay, he's done, call it a day. Anyway, the moment you reconnect though, then it'll actually will so, oh, you're back again. Well, let's start our next section then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still doing red and orange right now. Caution, warning, caution, warning. Yeah, that's the fun thing in quotes there about live streaming and sometimes recording though, especially if you do it over the internet, is that sometimes a connection will just cut off randomly though. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and end it then. Well, I guess I'll just do the ending thing though while my little Eevee runs around though. Do a little catch up over here, though. Anyway, that's where I am so far on level 41, trying to do the 42 requirements. So, more than halfway on using items for Pokemon to evolve there, and about four more EVs over here to evolve. And it has to be unique type, though, so that means I can't evolve two different Umbreon's there, which I don't think it counts that. And once again, though, to work on that, three, three or higher. Usually, the items that you get from there is not that great. All the completed stuff, though, still need to get to Renatus, though. Doesn't appear as often. Waiting for Willow to hurry up with his next half of Let's Go. Still got to get 20 days or something. Okay, still got to get about two more weeks worth of uh, hearts there for the wish granted, though. And still got one more 18 patch for the grass and gratitude to get the shaman. Or shaman, depending on how you look at it. Oh, well. Just as soon as I'm about to exit here, though. Bonk. Fine. Let's get the only green pig. Come on, hurry up. Sorry for the repeating there. The video is going into the red though. Anyways, I'm going to end it early right now. 
and then tried to attach the uh, the videos together though. Sorry for the so much lagging over here though because connection issues there. And I'm gonna keep on going though off video though. So let me quickly try to grab these two over here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Oh yeah, I forgot to update. Also, if I capture any more shinies though, I will just uh, put it in the description whenever I load this up to YouTube. This will load up to YouTube there, then I successfully did it. Come on, last one. Is that it? Let's go, sir. Anyways, thanks for watching this buggy issue there, or lagging issue there, of me doing the Community Day event classic for Swine Nub for April 2023, though. I'll be back next time with another one, hopefully without too much in issues in the video section over here. If you like what you're seeing, though, you're welcome to also have a look at previous uh, Pokemon Community Day. So that's also in its own separate list. There might be a couple that also have issues from previous times, too, but not as bad as this. And I'll be back next time with the next, oh, excuse me, the next Pokemon Go related video, though, whether it be another Community Day event or not. Now I want, look at ear just sticks right through my head. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video though. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll be back next time. Later. Three, two, one. Over.